we move into the 80s, drugs becomes a problem in the band, as does drinking. Lee Singer Rob is drinking heavily and using cocaine. Rob's drinking was definitely ramping up at that point because uh, he used to only take water on stage, but now it was Smyrna. Nick Smyrna. And guitarist Glenn is the biggest partier of the bunch. They were having some problems, I think, with Glenn in the, in the late 70s. He was a party animal, Glenn, anyway. Absolutely. But the group is backstage pre gig when the party substances arrive. The promoters would come in and put bags of cocaine on the coffee table, as if to say, there you go, guys, you sold out the arena for us. There's a reward. <laughs> But not everyone partakes. I'm going, Mom, what is the for me? You know, I've got to do that stuff. And it ends up affecting the performance. A lot of song speed was going on on stage, which got to be a bit annoying, really. But I don't think people wanted to hear a song five times faster than we'd written it, you know. Glenn's party lifestyle worsens the feud between the two guitarists and puts pressure on the band. But soon it will be the increasingly unhappy lead singer Rob who is struggling with addiction issues with devastating consequences.